Okay guys, so this next one that we're gonna talk about is um, the concept of negative space or negative shape. Now, the terms can be used interchangeably. Sometimes I hear people say, what about the negative space? And other times I hear people say, tell me about the negative shape. The same concept applies to both. The idea is that we're gonna be looking at the spaces between positive objects so background space, like if you were looking right here between my hair and my shoulder, this space between the two, um, or the shape of that and how that occurs in existing beside me. Let's take a look at the page though. I've got a couple of different examples laid out for you and I'll show you how I'm gonna use this to my benefit in getting an accurate proportion, getting the alignment and placement of everything correct and keep in mind that this is going to work very well with your structural line, with your siding, with the plumb lines, with access lines, with a bunch of the other videos that I've showed you that are all related to getting an accurate proportion. Okay, so let's take a look. Here I've got my photograph of my friend Ellen's horse Tomba again. And I've put my um, sheet protector over it and drawn on it. And what I've wanted to point out to you all is the negative space or the shapes between the, um, the positive shape of the horse. So I can actually look at the space between the neck, the, ch the cheek, and the um, bridle or rein. I'm not sure what it's called because I'm not a horse person. Um, I can look at these shapes and I actually started drawing those on the page and I tried to replicate the same scale and size and shapes of them um, here on the page. So you can look at this negative shape here and I've tried to create the same negative shape right here <clears throat> in proportion. So I wanted the same length in relationship to the height in proportion. Now that might be a little bit off. Again, I'm aiming for close, not exact. Um, and then I'm gonna look for this shape as well and try to create that shape right here between the ears. Another example where I've done that is between the neck and the cheek. So I tried to recreate this shape here. Now, in order to go from here and here to here, I had to draw in the rest of the horse. So I had to come down the nose and work on the cheek shape and work on the neck shape in order to see this shape. And now that I have that shape, I can make corrections. So if I wanted to change anything here, based on what I'm seeing here, once I have one set of lines, I have something to correct. Then I did the same for the reins down here. And you can see that I also created a negative shape by <clears throat> drawing in this horizontal line. This kind of relates to that idea of plumb lines. So by connecting from the bulge of um, Tomba's chest right here to the longest part of his nose and recreating that line here, I can now look at this shape right there. I can even outline that for you with a Sharpie. I think this is a different Sharpie. It's not quite as pointed. This one has seen some use. But here, I can complete the negative shape. And then I want this negative shape here to be the same. So I can see that something's a little bit off right here between these rings. This one should be coming out lower than I have it. So it would actually need to move down. And then this one would be even lower. So those are corrections that I would need to make that I can see better now because I've done this negative shape. Okay, then I can look at where that is in relationship to the nose and I can see that actually I've made it way too high when I put it in up here. Let's clean that up because it's getting confusing for you all to see. But even this second version here, that's in the wrong spot because when I look at his ending of these rings and the ending of his nose, they're much closer together. So those rings really probably need to be larger and lower down. 
in order to be in the correct spot. So that's going to take me some time to correct. That's not an immediate fix. But if I hadn't drawn this negative shape here, I would not have seen that that needed to be fixed. Is that a life-changing, horrible mistake to have made in the first place? No, I probably could have left it in there and it still would have looked convincingly like a horse. But sometimes you can make problem um, areas for yourself that have more repercussions and you can actually <clears throat> make your proportions so off that something looks really amiss. This time I don't think it's a huge deal, but I'm going to correct it anyways. And now that tells me that this line up here of this ring and this ring need to be much larger as well. So those are easy corrections for me to make. Um, let's take a look at another shape. I drew in his cheek, up the rein, and down the reins over here. Now that technically is a positive shape. That's the space that's on the object that I'm drawing itself, not on the background. <clears throat> but just looking at that shape, and looking at the proportions of it, tell me whether or not I've gotten this relatively accurate. And it's pretty close to me. There might be slight adjustments, but I'm not worried about minor adjustments. I'm worried about major adjustments. Again, I did the same thing here between these two reins, drawing in his muzzle. And you can see I've got these lines here creating that same shape. <coughs> and they're going to need a little adjusting. This line of the ring is below the ring, so now that I've moved the rings, I probably have to move the line. Or something's off about his nose. All of this tells me that there's probably something off about his nose, and I'm going to want to go back and check the sighting of this length compared to this length and do that on my page here. I'm not going to take the time to make those fixes right now in front of the camera because you guys honestly would get super bored <laughs> and it would take me forever. <clears throat> I want to just show you the idea of the negative space. Here's another photograph. This is a photograph of a bird bath that I took and I've slid my photo in there and you can tell that the line is actually a little bit off. <clears throat> but I drew a plumb line in and then I outlined the curve, it's a little bit off from the photograph. I think maybe this photocopy doesn't fit in quite the same as one of the other photocopies that I had. Or maybe the envelope is a little bit funky. Let's see if I can get it closer. That looks better, there we go. <clears throat> so now on my page, I drew the same vertical plumb line and then I made sure that it matched up here at the right height with this curve, and then I'm looking at this negative shape or the space between the plumb line and this curve, and I want to replicate it here on this drawing so that I get this shape looking like this shape. Now, this line might be confusing you. That was kind of marking what I call the apex of the curve or the inside narrowest part of the geometry of the curve. And when I look at this shape right here, I'll darken it so you can see it a little bit better. That shape looks the same to me as this shape. So I feel as though I've gotten this outline correct. Remember, all of these tools work together in combination. There is no one tool that is going to be the savior tool that saves you all your time and effort. It's still going to take a lot of time. Like I said, if I were to make those corrections now on the drawing of Tamba, you guys would get bored. <laughs> I would have to like either speed it up like crazy or um, you, know, you would probably wind up taking naps during my videos. And I'm hoping that that doesn't happen. So. <clears throat> Uh, negative space is another visualization tool where you can start to see the shapes of the objects that you're drawing. The goal again is still just to be making the most accurate outline possible and pretty soon we're going to get to shading those objects which is so much more fun and rewarding. So I hope you stick with me. Let me know if you have any questions and hopefully this helps you out. Thank you all so much for watching. More videos are coming soon, so if you wish to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and do that. And also you can check out my website, lzmstudio.com.